Nick and today we're going to talk about um, sequencing your backswing correctly. I think there's two tests that you may need to do to make things a little easier in the long run. And the first test will require you to get a, get a stick or a golf ball or a driver or something. Get into your normal setup position. Maybe do it with another person or look at yourself in the mirror or use a video. Cross your arms like this. Get into setup and try and rotate backwards and forwards. No, it's not a full swing, it's just a test. And um, what we want to identify is whether you're moving your whole body away like this, or if you've got limitations on one or two sides. Once you've done this test, I want you to then follow it up with what we call a pelvic tilt test. You get into a normal setup. You can raise the golf, but this will this will take your stability away. And starting here, try and arch your lower back. Tuck your pelvis underneath you, arch your lower back again, and feel your mobility. If, if you struggle to do this, then you're going to miss out on a lot of energy later in your golf swing. And this is what I'd like you to do. Use a stick um, for support. Get into position. Now just try and, with stability, try and move your pelvis backwards and forwards. And do something we call pelvis um, to, to neutral. Get into position. Arch. Tuck your pelvis in underneath you. Arch again. And find neutral. And neutral, I can feel now that my abs are engaged and I'm ready to go. And I put this behind my back. If I was too arched at a dress, I'd look like this. Um, I'm neutral. I'm coming out of an arch position. And there we go. That's really important to stabilize you before you um, start your backswing. So once you've got that nailed, I want you now to drop to your knees in a half kneeling stance, cross your arms with this stick, and rotate over your right side as far as you can. It's really important to avoid moving and swaying. If that's an issue, then maybe we can support that with a, with a band or some sort of other implement. Okay, once you've got this fixed, stand up, stay in this position, find neutral. And now, before we go any further, I want to take weight off your left side, focus on your right leg, and try and rotate towards your right leg or around your right leg. I, that's pretty much my limit now. Once you get there, get back into a dress position, find neutral, and then rotate to about this position again. If you can do it here, take your golf club, get into position, always find neutral. I think it's really important for you to, to grasp, find neutral, and start your swing like this again. I'm not saying that you need to stay like that all the way until you get to the top. It's just the way you sequence your backswing. Your upper, the club, the hands, your upper body, and your torso move together from down there to up here. And thereafter, the hips and the pelvis and follow up and your knees too. So let's talk about changing the direction of the swing in the next video. Get good at this. We'll see you next time.